Join us now are the stars of the show, Peter Krause and Oliver Stark. Good to see you both. Good to see you both. I, I was yeah. just um, recognizing the, the well-fitted yeah. uh, yeah, police. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember yeah. police officers being that yeah. tight yeah. with the... Uh, yeah, we, I, I like to say if my arm's not blue, it's not tight. Enough. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're a little exactly. snug, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but your yeah. show, man, I mean, congratulations on the success. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. had some amazing rescues. What, what's been your yeah. favorite shoot? You want to take that? Ooh, yeah, yeah, I just actually finished doing something okay. where I got to uh, basically surf a fire truck. So I got to stand on top of it as we're driving down this airport runway. Oh, that's so cool. So we're kind of clipped in. I'm holding this kind of uh, like a safety cable and yeah. kind of up there doing this as we're driving down the runway, which was uh, Come turn on. around. I, I was yeah. doing it with uh, Ryan Guzman, who's on the show. Turn around. I was like, I feel like Tom Cruise. Yeah. It, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a lot of fun. Very so, Tom Cruise so moment. Was, yeah. Peter, yeah. what about you? And the tsunami, up, that had to yeah. be one. For oh, the, the tsunami was great. The, the big stuff is really fun. I enjoyed something we did together first season where we had to go help a yoga class. Suddenly, every woman in the yoga class was giving birth. It was oh. a it happens. Pre Lamaze. pregnancy yoga yeah. class. And then we had somebody had a tapeworm. That was, yeah. that was a small thing, but that was a really fun episode. I enjoyed doing that. But the tsunami was crazy. Yes. Um, we filmed for a week down at the Baja Studios in Mexico in Rosarita. Great crew down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down the, that's great down there. Yeah, yeah they yeah. shot Titanic. Yes, yeah, exactly. they, they built the tanks for, yeah. for Titanic. Oh, that's yeah, I'm looking at this right there and running. thinking about what Mario was saying. Like, what do you do to stay in such good shape for this show? I mean, this is very different than other roles y'all have played, where you yeah. got to be buffed and ready to roll. I hit the gym pretty frequently. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, yeah. I know. You got to keep up. got to keep it together. <laughs> keep up, man. And you're just um, naturally this No, way. no, not at all. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to keep up more than anything. But, uh, you know, I, everybody in the show is, is pretty fit. And, and, you know, there's a pressure that comes when you're representing firefighters yeah. and yeah. responders that you want to do them justice. So uh, I think I consider it, I think we all consider it part, part of the job. Yeah, yeah, and everyone likes firemen. Oh. Like everyone's always rooting for firemen, which brings we, me to all, all week we've been celebrating Mr. Rogers Week. Yeah. Um, with people that are doing wonderful things in the community and what have you. So, what are some of the things that you've come across with the real fire uh, fighters that you've uh, gotten to know that some of the great things that they've done that stand out? Well, I mean, aside from just saving homes and saving lives yeah. and things like that, there are some things that. Um, yeah, like we, um, I got to do something during our hiatus between season two and season three. Uh, myself and Aisha, who's one of the actresses on the show, we got to go with some firefighters and install smoke alarms into people's homes and kind of mm -hmm. be a part of uh, educating them on, on kind of fire safety and stuff like that. So, so these things that aren't necessarily part and parcel of their jobs, but, you know, they, they go above and beyond to, to, to help the community. Yeah. When I was a kid, there was a community building thing that they did in Roseville, Minnesota, where they'd have a fundraiser, but it was a firehouse chili thing where you'd go in and you'd sit with them and you'd get to oh. see the trucks and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, that's cool. You know, I kid. think that goes on everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I see it all the time, like kids coming out of fire station. Yeah, they've got a little yeah, plastic yeah, hat yeah. on, and you just see them beaming. And, yeah. you know. and it's such Those like a fraternity. Yeah. Look at this <laughs> yeah. right there. My house in real life burned down. I have a special affinity to the firefighters that saved everything and saved oh, wow. the neighborhood. And it became such a community. Like, they checked back up on my yeah, kids yeah. and yeah. to me. Really special. Okay, let's play a game yeah. with y'all. You ready? Okay. We're going to learn some secrets okay. about you. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to guess which one this happened to. Okay, okay. which one of you? Yes. Relaxes by watching Shark Tank and <laughs> say yes to the dress. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, <laughs> I like Listen. that, Oliver. Balance. <laughs> I love love. All right, and I'm not ashamed <laughs> of it. All right. And I, sometimes the dresses are really pretty. <laughs> no, it's just I, I find it hard when we're working to uh, like watch really. Serious stuff that I have to think about too much. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I like to watch some light hearted A little stuff. yes to the oh dress. My God, I is, love is there it. A, are you married? I'm not married. You're not no, married. But so I'm, I'm in a long term relationship. So when you yeah. meet your lady, you're going to be like, this is what you need this to is, wear. Here's the dress. Oh, oh shit, my, my, my lady is the one that got me into it. Um, oh, okay, got it. Or I got her into it. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> the chicken have, of the yeah, yeah, chicken. <laughs> I have watched the British baking show once in a while. If it makes you feel any better. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> question number two Which one of you was an inspiration for an episode of Will and Grace? That would be me. Oh, be me. how'd you influence the episode? I shared a double banger, which is, you know, a trailer with two sides, with uh, two writers on Carolina in the City named Rob Lauterstein and Ellen Idelson. And we became friendly. We started going out to dinner, the three of us, just having fun, like, after work, if we'd wrap at the same time. And they, Rob is gay and Ellen's straight, and they were each convinced that I was into them. What? So, <laughs> Will and Grace, they wrote an ep episode where there's a man and a woman who each thought that Will was into them. 
That's, oh, that's hysterical. Funny. Yeah. 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 The character they had play you, were you satisfied with whoever that guy was? Um, great actor. I'm trying to remember his name now. It's not coming to me. Oh, my God, that's <laughs> really funny. Huh? You would have liked to play yourself in it? No, no, no. <laughs> How about this one? Okay, guys, zoom in. Look at their faces. You're going to get this at home. Which one of you played Andrea Zuckerman's boyfriend on Beverly Hills? I don't think you were even born. I don't think you were even born yet. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on here? like eight. She was yeah. into younger men. Yeah. Yeah. Could be either one. Yeah. I was trying to sell it. It's so uncomfortable Ooh, playing Peter. that character. He was a Republican. That was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sure That's was right. everything, the too. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, guys. Thanks so much <laughs> Thank for hanging out. By the way, was. she's head of SAG now. You're in it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was <laughs> in it even before that. 911 <laughs> 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 airs Monday at 8 p.m.